Anansi and the Big Test In the world of stories, Anansi the spider is famous for his clever tricks. Though he's small, he usually outsmarts everyone around him to get what he wants. But sometimes, Anansi's tricks don't go as planned. Today, he'll learn a valuable lesson about honesty and hard work. Let's see what happens when Anansi tries to take a shortcut on a big test. One bright morning, Anansi was relaxing under a big tree, daydreaming about all the fun he'd have over the weekend. There was just one problem, a big math test on Monday. Why waste my weekend studying? Anansi thought to himself. I'll figure out a clever way to pass without all that boring work. On Monday morning, as he sat at his desk, Anansi looked around the classroom for a way to get the answers without studying. He turned to his friend Monkey and whispered, Hey, Monkey, can you help me out? Let me see your answers during the test. Just this once. Monkey shook his head firmly. No way, Anansi. If you want to pass, you should have studied. Not giving up, Anansi tried his other friend, Parrot. Parrot, buddy, can you show me your answers for just one question? But Parrot squawked, cheating is wrong, Anansi. The test is to show what you know. Feeling frustrated, Anansi finally leaned toward Elephant. Elephant, you are so smart. Help me out? Elephant gave him a serious look. No, Anansi. You had all weekend to study. With no one willing to help, Anansi decided to rely on his own cleverness. He quickly rearranged his desk to sit between two other students so he could peek over their shoulders. Then he placed a small mirror on his desk at an angle to catch their answers without being noticed. This is perfect, he thought, grinning to himself. As the teacher, Miss Owl, handed out the test papers, Anansi felt proud of his plan. As the test began, he carefully used the mirror to glance at the answers on his neighbor's sheets. But what Anansi didn't know was that Miss Owl had been watching his every move. When he handed in his paper, Miss Owl called him to her desk. Anansi, she said with a stern look, I noticed you seem to be using something extra during the test. Anansi gulped. M. I, I uh, was just checking my reflection. Miss Owl held up his little mirror. If you're confident in your reflection, then you should be able to handle this new set of questions. She handed him a different set of math problems, even harder than the ones on the test. Anansi stared at the paper, his heart sinking. Without his mirror or anyone's answers to peek at, he had no idea how to solve the problems. After class, Miss Owl returned Anansi's test. At the top was a big red F. Anansi, she said gently, taking shortcuts may feel clever, but hard work is the only way to really succeed. Next time, study for the test instead of looking for tricks. Anansi nodded, feeling both embarrassed and wiser. I thought I could get by with just one trick. Miss Al smiled. Even clever tricksters need to put in the work. Hard work beats shortcuts every time. From that day forward, Anansi made an effort to study for his assignments. Instead of looking for ways to cheat, he focused on learning, and the next time he had a test, Anansi earned a passing grade all on his own. At the end of the week, he proudly told his friends, there's no trick to learning. You just have to do the work. And as he often did, Anansi ended with a proverb. The lazy worker's harvest is always empty.